Telling jokes and having smokes Riding bikes all through the night It's a wild ride When you're being in Coffee ice no matter what Now you know he likes it in the butt It's a wild ride When you're being in Being in And life is shit but you're positive Let's find out what it's like to live a life Being Ian, being Ian With Jordan Yes I No, I love the guy Okay, well everyone does He's a hot man, but he's a cool guy too <laughs> Welcome to... <laughs> <laughs> I hope that takes out all of your air. You got to do the, um, you got to, I know I haven't been in Not yet. yet. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Being In with Jordan in the Delaware Den with the Delaware I'm Doozy the Delaware and the Doozy. Delaware Dame. He's the Delaware dickhole. And this is our Delaware <laughs> debutante. Dominatrix. <laughs> Ron on Hirschberg. Well, I was going to say, if you do blow this show far, there's like Hebrew words you're supposed to say right before Tell you us. Blow. Well, I'll say the word and then you blow it. Okay. okay? Yes. Akia. Shivari. And then there's one, I forget what it is, but it's the one where you have to blow as long as you possibly can. Yeah. It's like Maru Jua. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. The longer you do, the, the better place you have in heaven, in Jew heaven. Oh my God. Oh my she wants God. to go to Jew heaven so badly. <laughs> she really wants to go to Jew heaven. <laughs> Her face lit up. Oh my God, I'm worried for your health. <laughs> That's so non. Uh, Finally, we got her to shut up. <laughs> that was the worst thing you did with your breath today, and it was, did it not involve the air pollution outside. It's oh, really yeah. impressive. Yeah, yeah. Dude, people have been giving me the stink eye just ripping cigs and the apocalyptic <laughs> air pollution. I was talking to Jake about how crazy it is that you just step outside to get more smoke. Me? Well, just people uh, smoking. Yeah. yeah, it is like you really are doubling down. I love it. But I guess, you know, if you're going to get cancer, up. get. But see, I don't get the it. nicotine from the air. Right. Oh, right. and speaking of which, <laughs> since I'm not smoking down here today because of the air pollution, so I'm going to use our Lucy uh, Breakers. This it is, is great Lucy gum. Breakers, sponsored. Lucy breakers. Isn't sponsored. Setting, uh, it's good. It gives me the nicotine I need when I can't do the thing I want. <laughs> if it, That's the long one. I feel line. like you smoked a cigarette like a second ago. <laughs> yeah, he's, Isn't uh, it, um, it's, it seems unfair that we don't have trees in New York, but now we have to deal with wildfire fair. smoke. I know. That's fair. We get the worst aspects like of nature. Smell, we have wildfire smoke and rats. Black and people. that's our nature. <laughs> Black people got out of nature a long time ago. Uh, they were the first to get out of nature, yes. the earliest mm. people to get out of nature. But um, but uh, yeah, so it's just it's just like all the bad parts of nature, you know. What's another bad part? Oh, like wild. Like animals. we don't have trees. Also, we have, like we have Zika wildfire filled wasps. I mean, yeah, mosquitoes. we have all the yeah, but we don't have like Dude, we don't have anything good. Yeah. We don't have like mosquitoes beer. in that well back there because the rain comes in and then the mosquitoes form. I Never mind. Full. We have good parts of nature too. You, I stand corrected. Yeah. We have a vat full of mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a vat full of breeding mosquitoes. <laughs> you've proved. You've just proved. I could like call them hysterics. <laughs> I saw. Now. I saw four deer in Colorado, right oh. outside my truck. I thought you were going to say like Bensonhurst. I was like, whoa. No. And they were so cute. And I grew up in a place where you're like, fuck deer, get out of the road. Yeah, yeah. And now I've lived in New York so long that I was like, there are four deer. Yeah. Right now. Well, I'm yelling with Renan. My That's one of my. Uh, I'm, yes. <laughs> I'm going to show jokes. you my surprise to Renan this morning because I saw him on the oh, street yeah. and I. <laughs> this is. You the should best show this in the pot if you can. Yeah. I'll, I'll send it to Ethan. Give me your money. Fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Brand new episode of BD. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Listen, listen, listen. I'm walking over. Give me your money. Fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs>
Brand new episode of Being Here with Jordan coming. A. I Give mean, me that is money. The, it would be weird if I wasn't <laughs> shocked. I need it one more time, but don't don't make any laughter. Give me your money. Fuck Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he took off his glasses. What did you think How funny would it have been if I there. shot you immediately? <laughs> How? <laughs> and you're so, and it would be so bittersweet for you because you're so anti crime. Yeah. Yeah. You would die being like, I know. Oh, I'm glad you're fighting yeah, crime yeah. yourself. I mean, you did the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Just shot you. <laughs> Why did you rip your glasses off, do you think? Not uh, only did you rip you your glasses off, you squared up. You hop back like a yes. bunny. <laughs> Well, I, 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 I know hopping back was good. I know we're making fun of it, but like, would it have been weird if I didn't respond? And would it have been weird if I, I just never like, respond? I yeah. mean, to give me your fucking money. So many people do that to me. As a joke. <laughs> I respond when Ethan does it because just he walking is a dark black man. Quickly, See, this proved you're not racist. Yeah, I'm I was white. just as scared. And he was just as scared. Oh my god, Ethan always comes up to me. No, he's I, like, What's I, I always, like, <laughs> I always have. I'm equally scared of white men. As black. I'm scared of everyone. Yeah, I'm yeah. such a pussy, a pussy. I can't be racist. Because I'm terrified joke. by all everyone. Yeah. You know, I'm terrified of black people, but also, you know, girls. White men girls. with tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. Post it. <laughs> so I do think that you almost squared up, though. You got ready, which I what think was squared good. up. No, we didn't. Oh, to you fight? Were, you put, you, you don't even know what fight. square up <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry I'm not from the 30s. You didn't. I would have done I'm sorry I'm not a. Hey, ah, you got to square up when you're fighting the hoodlums when on I was the street. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me your money. He goes, ah, you really want to get a knuckle duster, don't you? You're ready to square up. You almost put those dukes up. You don't know put them dukes up? I'm sorry. Come on. You want to be yellow belly? Let's go. I'm sorry I'm not from West Side Story. Oh, my God. My friend, shout out Josh. Josh Wagner, amazing comedian, is MMA fighting, and he said that yesterday they have to they have to make it so your shins are ready, so they scrape it with a wooden spoon. <laughs> no, how is that ready? I don't understand. I could, let's do that right now, no, and I'll I get my musical to. wooden spoon. Is that ready? Because you're allowed. Can you get the to wooden scrape spoons? people with wooden spoons in MMA? <laughs> yeah, is that why that's ready? <laughs> yeah. Of course, one of the more legal moves. You're not allowed to. Like do, you're not allowed to scrape them with a fork. We're not animals. No. But you can take out a, a spoon wooden and spoon, scrape them. A soup spoon only. <laughs> Dude, I want to play my wooden spoon no. so bad. No. No. I bought a set no. of wooden spoons off of Instagram. Yeah, we all saw the wooden spoons. Is that on an Instagram instrument? And everyone were. Was it's like an instrument. Retarded. In the middle of the night, I was on Instagram in a hotel room, and I was lonely. And this guy was playing the wooden spoons. I was like, I can do that. And so I bought them. And you now wanna, I just play the same song. You want to tell with your quirky uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. instrument? Tell's got the recorder, and I've yeah, got the wooden yeah. spoons. <gasps> Oh my God! You gotta, you gotta very. I gotta bring oh, them out. Oh, you gotta bring them <laughs> you out. You have a very manic depressive uh, uh, band. Oh my right God! There. I almost <laughs> started playing guitar yesterday. Really? Yeah. Really? You know, it's kind of confusing, by the way. You, you know, you're not Jewish, which I thought for years. I am, a little Jewish. but you do lean into it. You have a menorah. Um, I am Jewish. I'm Ashkenazi. How cool is that? I took a 23 Me. I'm just a little pinch. You just a little pinch. Ashkenazi? Just a little pinch. Which How much? I uh, like fucking 16 percent. 60%. Wow. Interesting. So did you get the menorah and the shofar after that? or uh, We got the menorah <laughs> for our Christmas episode. The shofar I've had since 2007 uh, because, because my... <laughs> Oh, that was not good. <laughs> it was athletic greens. Oh, God. Was it was that a athletic fart? greens? Thank yes, you. Thank you. Promo code SKA. Also, have you been eat, mixing pork chops in with your athletic greens? I thought you were just smelling your pussy or something. You're like, ugh. <laughs> Wafting it up. No, my old roommate, BFF, shout out, Jared. You're the man. He moved out half a block up the street. We see each other and say hello. Is he Baby Blues guy? No. Wait, what about yeah. him? Wait. He gave us the shofar. Oh, okay. okay. For the, I used to go to his house for Shabbat and everything, and they'd let me blow the shofar. Oh, nice. Anyway, nice. who tried to fuck your girlfriend yesterday? No, that was someone else. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't know if they did, but they were. Uh, where, where were you? They were, they you, seemed, were, you were such a it's fucking. Not, it's, not, it's not that. They seemed really interested in our story, and I'm like. That's got to be. That's got to be an agenda. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody w wants to yeah, sit through this. They were like, they were like, wow, that's really uh, fascinating. I'm like, hey, get away from my lady. There's no way in hell you could be interested in that story. 
uh, but uh, but yeah, I don't I don't remember. But she she wants me to get more jealous because she she can she has some of those qualities. So nice. I'm not jealous type. You know what I mean? That's Dude, the thing with isn't guys. that funny when girls? She's like, like, what if I fuck someone? I'm like, I jack off in the corner. It's hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, she wants you to get more like machismo. Like, be jealous. Show no, me. she's so, jealous to balance it out. Yeah, oh. yeah. She wants him to feel lucky that he's swinging so high out of his league. I'm lucky. I feel lucky. Yeah. I'm just not like uh, get. I don't know. She is more insecure than you, so you get to feel yeah. safe, which is nice. I feel like she, yeah, is yeah. not, you know, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't know one- what you guys are saying because all you're saying is, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know. She, yeah. I'm trying to sure. debate. That's yeah. me debating how much I can say without getting in trouble. Oh my God. <laughs> Nobody's going to get in trouble. Right. No, she will my podcast sometimes. She, yeah, that's fine. But she just wants. Oh, did I tell you? I'm not worried you? about getting. I'm worried about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for the burp. <laughs> she just wants to feel hot. You're really just leading. You're just going into the direction of morning radio, basically. Like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. you, th- you think you're so hip, but you're really just like. Welcome to Queer in the Cunt. W-B-I-B-I-W-J. That's our radio call time. Welcome to B-I-W-J 107.5 with Queer in the Cunt. We're here in the morning. This hip basement is just a a mere smoke screen for an ironic morning radio. This is just how it's basement. Oh, her pussy smells again. That means it's Monday. Do you put your own pussy in that athletic greens? We'll be back right after this. Here's Richard Marks. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, one of the, my pet peeves. I want to know what love is. One of my new rules I hate is like, you know, like a hot girl on, on Instagram will like do something where she's making fun of influencers, but she's hot. So it's like the same. Yeah, it's it's like, I'm just jacking off to you. It's, what's the yeah, difference? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just ironically be like, this is how influencers act. How you're an act? influencer. That's only funny if you're ugly. I haven't seen how they act. Is it like... Who are you talking Who's about? I don't know. I'm just saying general people. What do influencers people. do? What? What do influencers do? You make do? fun of an influencer. I don't know. Influencers, I guess they do nothing. If they did something, they'd be called Oh, that. have you seen those little <laughs> boys that uh, shill for Biden? No. Oh, dude, there's like these 22-year-old <laughs> that would become kids a right-wing podcast. <laughs> that, like, that shill for Biden, and they're like... Gen Z is here to say that the Republicans are going down. We back Joe, and we're excited for this election. Well, that's just Bernie Dude, kids. It's great. No, don't that's associate fucking Bernie that's the with that. Of what we don't were. associate our what Lord and Savior with that. With their little Bernie shirts. <laughs> well, I was like, Biden's always very, you know, he's sleepy and stuff. You know, whatever. Sleepy, sleepy Joe. Joe. But I will say, like, the reason Trump has energy. is because he's a narcissist, and when you're a narcissist, you don't listen to other people. Mm. And that's what drains you in life, listening to other people. Listening Mm -hmm. to other people will make you tired. No, he's Is that why also... you're never tired? Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, good day. Back to BIWJ. It's queer in the cunt in the morning. This Listen show is like, you know how like in Ghostbusters you can't cross the stream? <gasps> this, this is you movie. crossing. Don't come. This is you crossing uh, borderline and bipolar. <laughs> Chad now. <laughs> and the nuclear. Uh... <laughs> Listen to me. I can't hear about Biden anymore from comics. Uh huh. I can't. Well, hear he brought about it up. It. To be fair, I'm no, just, that's fine. I'm just it's fine on podcast. But I was saying this to the seller. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't shut if him I down. Hear hey. one more. <laughs> Jordan, wait. Lord what? Here. What take on Biden? Just that Biden is not a president. That he's a sleepy president. That he's not there. That he's missing. That yeah. he's a ghost. Well, you'll be happy he's... to know. I I willingly stop doing my Biden joke, even though it gets a big laugh, and I think it's kind of funny, just because it is in that realm. Yeah. And I'm like, I gotta have high standards. Can I? Standards. And I, can I like tell no more Trump impressions. Can I tell you? Except that... for from Fisher and. Gillis. Gillis. Can I tell you the two funniest Biden jokes? Fucking Tom Takar's Biden joke yes, about the, uh, yeah. the Trump people when he's like, Trump, rah, 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 rah. Oh, no one's like Biden. Yeah. And then the Biden's like, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then Shane has one where he's like, you know when a, the someone has like a 16-year-old dog and they yeah. walk in the room? That's like Biden when like, he comes oh, on stage. Like, there but he that's is. That's because it's hey. a joke about the dog. And I, I think yeah. you could eliminate the Biden part. No, no, can't. that's what makes it's, it the no. joke. The analogy. You're, you eliminating Biden is eliminating the is eliminating the joke. <laughs> yeah. Without Biden, you're just saying. You ever see a six year old dog? Yeah. <laughs> no, he goes like this. He goes. Biden is like 
Biden is like uh, <laughs> when you walk into somebody's house and they have a 16 year old dog. And but, then, listen to me. And then he pivots the joke. You go up to Chris Rock and be like, you don't need to make it about black people and N words. You could just say that about anything, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people go to the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And some yeah. people talk to the movie. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, the joke is he goes like this. He goes, Bi stop, calm down, calm down. I know, I know. It's right, Bully Jordan out. time. It's Bully Jordan. Oh, if this becomes a Jeff Asmus and Ian podcast, I swear to God, I will walk out. I swear to fucking God. No, that was the story. worst. Time Were for you me. bullied? Oh my god! Yes, they just as soon as he gets somebody on his side a little bit, they, he goes so hard on me and later has to backtrack <laughs> hard so on. many mean Welcome things back to that he says. Well, I'm in the not morning. gonna be fully on his side. He made me pee in my pants a little earlier. So um. <laughs> <laughs> this is the joke. He basically okay. says he basically says Biden is like when you walk into a friend's house and there's the 16 year old dog. Yeah. You literally could say I and then he goes into the dog bit where he's like, hey, there he is. You literally it's could just say all about Biden. I'm no, so curious. No, how let her going. Finish. Okay. Let her finish. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You literally could say I I go to my sister's house. There's the 16 year old dog. You guys see that before we walk in and you're like, oh, there he is. <laughs> You guys see that before? <laughs> Come on! The joke is you're not imagining Biden. Ages you're imagining the God. Ideology of no, the dog. No, nobody thinks yes. that way about Biden. Nobody's like, wrong. nobody's like, nobody's imagining going. I got there a killer joke. You ready for this? You ever see think... an old dog? That's it. That's the joke. <laughs> you know why? You ever you see an old why? dog? You know why? The old this? dog is like. Uh... I walked in on the joke after our, the Biden part, and it was still funny. The old. <laughs> There's the joke. Look at you. You ever see an old dog? This doesn't even make sense. Hold on, hold on. Let's try it out. Let's try it. You ever see an old dog and it's like just so old? It's like old and moving. What do you think? What are we fucking Portland? Listen to that. Jesus Christ! There are so many jokes about dogs. I do jokes about dogs. What's another yeah. joke we can separate? You know separate? what? My dogs about jokes are great. <laughs> Let me tell you. These dogs, they're perverts. <laughs> they just hump and hump. Cats don't hump. <laughs> great joke. We should not, not have a, a dog be so sleepy when it's president. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need it. Show List is somebody who easily could have a joke about an old dog what? and make it funny. Nobody is thinking. That dog should not be sleepy. He's in control of too many things. <laughs> How are we all? It's so crazy that a dog is this tired. I don't want to. When he has so many responsibilities. You could say butt. it about anything. You could say about an old person. You could say it about his dad. That dog you could say was sniffing that girl's hair. He doesn't say And that it was in inappropriate. Joke. That dog had a puppy with a laptop. <laughs> People are like, is that about Biden? It's just no. It's in the morning. We're the wacky crew. We've got queer, the cun, the Jew. Back after I, this. I bring here's... guests on and then you bond with them at my expense. <laughs> That's what's happened. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Here's Journey. <laughs> Sherry. Um, Ian got a rub and tug after promising what? that he wouldn't see prostitutes anymore. Oh. Why wouldn't you see? Uh, I don't think they're. I don't consider them because it's becoming you an issue, issue, issue. I don't consider them. Take off the sunglasses. You're dehumanizing. You're becoming. <laughs> you're becoming. Wow. Stanford making, prison uh, experiments. Classic airplane bit. Can I tell you? I didn't sleep much last night. And now I've had my coffee. What um? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you could easily make a joke about. When somebody has an old ass dog, it is a funny joke. That is a funny joke. When you walk into somebody's house and there's an old dog and you have to be like, there he is. I get what you're saying where it helps with the Biden thing, but I'm just saying he could figure out a way to divorce that from Biden. He could say, you look like when somebody has an old dog. <laughs> but uh... I see what you're saying. <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just sick of Biden jokes. <laughs> okay. I would rather okay. hear a joke about how it is crazy how we never hear from Biden than how old he is. You should do a master class on comedy. <laughs> George Carlin's joke about abortion doesn't need abortion <laughs> as a, a topic. You know, the line is you ever notice people who are pro life are the people you wouldn't want to fuck There's anyway? More it bad words than yeah. just the it seven. Should be, it should be. If you ever notice that people are are some people you wouldn't want to fuck anyway? Why don't anyway? we take a poll? Why don't <laughs> we, we take listeners? a poll? Why don't we take a poll? <laughs> should how or you should guys not tell Jordan us whose jokes of the three of us you like the best? Booger huh? from her nose. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I always have a booger? Ooh, that was a, that was a honker. <laughs> no! <laughs>
<laughs> it's also black from the soot outside. Oh, Yesterday yeah. I was pulling out black boogers. Take my wife, please. Doesn't need the wife. Take- you know what? You know what? <laughs> Take this guy. Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> he doesn't have to talk down to himself. The jokes are still funny. <laughs> Sorry, this is. Uh, <laughs> I will smash you. I will absolutely smash you. I will absolutely smash you. Give me love. You're a stupid. I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak out and say things I don't mean. Stop I love bullying you. me enough. I love the you. The joke is dead. I love you. And be- Ow, I have a tattoo. What happened to you as a child? Jesus. <laughs> I hate you. I want to talk to Alan. I'm taking your slot. <laughs> You're bumping me from I'm fucking therapy. You. I got bumped. Who bumped me? Sagalo bumped me. Sagalo bumped you? I know. Wow, the the therapy world is real different than the stand up world. (laughs) (laughs) The podcast world. Woo. But uh, yeah, anyway. Are you filming your podcast? No. (laughs) I'm filming some short films and I was was, like spending too much and I realized I need to like conserve my money. So I canceled that studio. And I'm putting the money into a short film, you know. Well, but I might, I might film? do like what the one, the one that you're writing with. What's his face? Uh, I'm doing one other one with Joe next week. I'm filming. <sighs> nice. It's you need an actor. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, Drama. I, I'm, I'm all set. The results are back. <laughs> no. <laughs> we lost the baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> her head fell off. <laughs> nah. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll probably bring back. I think I'll probably do like a movie thing or something. You know, look at you, Mister Humble. A movie about what? A movie like podcast. Or a something. movie about nothing. A movie podcast. Yeah, like I was just doing a general podcast. Oh, uh, a movie, I, a, a podcast about movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, do that. But I think I'll do it on Zoom, so I don't have to fucking. Talk to work, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Do it on or, zi- or just audio. do it, yeah, yeah. Or just do it by myself, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just don't like having to get people, and I don't know. But yeah. I, I should do podcasts. I you're, like you're all making a decent amount of money now. I saw your Patreon. Oh, thank you, a thousand a piece huh, a month. What? <laughs> no more. More. How much are you making? What, what kind of that. conversation is this? <laughs> <laughs> Jew it down, Ron. <laughs> I thought Leave you had you at the door. <laughs> this is fun time. It's not Ronan's financial hour. <laughs> what is this? Can you, is, it, is it a ghost to talk about the money you're making on the podcast at the podcast? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. You never bring up money, religion, and politics with friends. It's not very much. Okay. I won't bring. Um... It goes to him. Yeah. Yeah. We need more. <laughs> Patreon.com slash beanie and pod. The ads we are coming have a clip, in. That's guys, good. That we have to pay. We pay yeah. him. He Studio does fee. Um, Ian pockets a bunch of it. You're full of e- garbage. Oh, you sold merch at our show, and you gave me twenty dollars to go get a snack. No, and you I gave you more than cash that. I gave, in your pocket. I gave you more than that, and also I pay you out more than I pay myself. So there. What do you think of that? I thought we're not supposed to talk about money. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of scolded me and. And right went right into it. Welcome back to BIWJ. <laughs> it's queer the gun the Jew. We got money talk on the table. What um Renan? Can I have sunglasses if you're gonna scream? Because I'm beginning to get a headache. So uh, but yeah, hold on, hold on. Real but yeah, quick. I cut out Take my that back. Joke. I do not pocket the money. I know that was a bit, but you I just thought that one night. No, but the but I gave you money because you went to eat. I took the rest of the money and then I put that in the account. Denying being stingy is a bad look with the menorah and the shofar. You really set yourself up there. You're like, (laughs) I wish you shot me. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever been mugged before? No, I've never been mugged. But you look so muggable. Yeah, you really did look like you'd been mugged before. I I guess I exude a vibe like I don't have much money on me. I don't know. I've never been mugged. Yeah. I mean, I'm very like. Maybe it's a constant walking with a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been mugged. I one time I fell asleep years ago. I fell asleep on the subway and I got Oof. woken up by a person asking if I needed a place to stay. It was like people collecting homeless people for the shelter. Oh, that's so yeah. funny. Were you drunk or just tired? No, I was just. I guess look bad. <laughs> that's happened to me too. I've asked for somewhere to eat, and people have been like, "There's a shelter down there." <laughs> oh, dude. that's bad. Yeah. When I was in like fifth grade on Easter Sunday, the priest 
talking about like HIV and like AIDS and everything. Classic, and then classic. Uh, so much of when you talking is just heartburn and you just <laughs> <laughs> was it heartburn? Yeah. You do it on stage too, where you're like, you guys. <laughs> it's the classic Easter Sunday talk. Know, Jesus has right. risen, and so do uh, <laughs> lesions on people's bodies. <laughs> Um, you, Jesus went away, but do you know what didn't? <laughs> anyway, so we're lesions. What? <laughs> oh no! I thought some guy had AIDS, so I asked my money for my mom for money to give I it to him, and money. I said, "I'm sorry that you have AIDS," and he said, "I don't have AIDS," and then he like got upset. You just thought he had. A, you just thought he looked AIDSy. Yeah, yeah. That's a what? that's a How that's a risk. I'm like, I would grade. say that's even oh. worse than He's assuming someone's grade. pregnant. Assuming they have I AIDS. had somebody ask if I was pregnant. I feel like you probably got well, both. The guy, have you, the guy are, you, <laughs> are you pregnant and have AIDS? Somebody <laughs> asked when I was pregnant when I was at my skinniest. Really? So anorexic. It was such a nightmare. I was wearing a dress that was like went here and then and I was holding my back because we'd been backpacking all day. So I had my hands behind like this and was like, and she was like, oh, and was like, are you pregnant? And she was like, no, it's because you're you are glowing. And I was like. I, I stayed inside for Are a full pregnant? day. I just think, you, know, you just look really the excited about life. poor lady felt so bad. <laughs> no, it's not because you're fat. You just you just seem like you're looking forward to something. <laughs> I was one so time, fucked up. One time my brother had a friend who was like fat. And I, my mom, when he, she like looked at him, she's like, why are you hiding a uh, basketball in your shirt? Like she literally did the pregnant confusion on a dude. She was like, "Why are oh, you that's hiding?" So funny. And why do you have a fat? baby in yeah. your stomach? That's dude, when crazy. I was in my fattest, Sean Donnelly came up to me and goes, "Why are you wearing two coats?" I was like, what? <laughs> you weren't. No. Wow. I was at a belly. I love Sean Donnelly. <laughs> I would bring it up to my girlfriend. I have I have a lot of fat trauma growing up, and mm. I remember that when my mom was like, when I was ten, I'd go shopping with her, and she'd always like yell to the person across the thing, "Excuse me." Do you know where the husky section is? <laughs> yeah. The husky section. It's awful. My son is fat. <laughs> no. <laughs> and he needs the no. husky section. She would say that? Well, not the That's a part. bit. Yeah, yeah. But the husky part would, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very traumatized. Oh, the, do you remember trying on pants? Yeah. That oh, yeah, you were fat. So were you fat? Oh, awful. Very skinny. Okay. So right. skinny, I did have milkshakes and stuff to make me gain weight. Wow, you're like an actor trying to gain weight for you're like De Niro and Raging Bull. Mm -hmm. So to offensive. Weight. See, I can act. <laughs> <laughs> he melted ice cream <laughs> and drank it like a bunch. Of I stuff. hate hearing that shit. What? Because I'm like, dude, try doing it for free. I've been doing that my entire I'm also life. Like, I just had really they, good metabolism. I'm also like, why I, is it so hard? Well, for the them? annoying part is that like they get really fat. Well, actually, it was really bad. I was reading the Raging Bull synopsis, and or something, and it said the, his weight at the end, and it was like my weight. And yeah, I just, that's I the just worst. want to kill myself. Oh, Same so with like Charlize <laughs> Theron and Tully. Worse. She's yeah. like, I had to wake myself up and force feed myself mac and cheese. I'm like, that's every night for but, me. But Try doing it for free. I think the acting thing that's so upsetting is that De Niro did that, and then he just went back to normal like six months, and meanwhile, it's taken me, it hasn't ever, been, I, would I love, haven't ever been able to get swing back, back from, yeah. I would I love I, to look like De Niro in Cape Fear. Yeah, it's a right? good. Uh, but a I, movie. I had really fast metabolism, and it slowed down, so I get a belly pretty easily. Mm -hmm. And that I think I have body dysmorphia because I've always thought I was like incredibly fat. But you're not fat, but what's interesting, you're not fat, but you are like a little stocky, but not fat. You're, he's barrel. Maybe tested. stocky is the wrong word. You seem hurt. Stocky. Maybe you seem you fucking hurt. Husky chino. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. What's the word? Chino? Barrel chested? Chino, He's barrel Chino chested. Even. Is that not stocky? Barrel I guess chested. I'm all, we're both I guess shaped like barrels. Stocky. George is stocky. I do have a very barrel body. But I'm saying you're barrel chested. Uh, that's tough. my excuse when I'm fat. You know what I mean? I'm like, well, I'm mm. just, <laughs> I just have the kind of body that has fat well, dude, hanging we off of it. We were talking about this. <laughs> I, our, our, I have big bones and I'm and, big bone and there's big, I have a lot of big fat skin. on that bone. Uh, I, <laughs> I, have big skin. I had a, I have big fat. I was like trying to not do sugar and then dude, I ate a ton of sugar and I feel like I've like lost weight. It's weird. Yeah. It's Does tough. That to yes. That happened last time. Remember? Yeah, oh yeah. That's why I brought it up. Well, I'm weight. I'm, so we've uh, talked about I'm it. weightlifting now. With a trainer. Oh, nice. I want to do That's that. That's great. I have a trainer. And he, uh, it's funny. He doesn't try to fat shame me, but today it was like, he like indirectly fat shames me. What did he say? We were like working out. Like I was lifting my whole body. So he's not talking about the body. He's just talking about the weight I'm using, oh. which is my body. He's like, it's hard, right? Because you're you're lifting 210 pounds. That's a lot of weight. <laughs> and then he's like. That's so then funny. he's like. I, it's not as hard for me because I'm, I'm only lifting 175 pounds. You see? I'm like, are you trying to. 
it prove is, to me that is, you're in better shape than me. It is hard you're for you. Traitor. You're lifting a lot of weight, and then later you have a hard time putting on pants because of weight. <laughs> lot of weights. Lot, lot of, of weight. You're lot working. Of well, you are really pushing yourself at the gym with all this weight you're putting on. Yeah. You, yeah. It was like I'm like you're just every time me you fat. stand up, you are bench pressing. Yeah, I'm very impressed. <laughs> That's what pisses me off. Those little girls stand up. Like every time I go like this. I'm lifting all one. That's why I've never. It's a paradox. It seems like if you're fat, it's like you having a fat, fat suit on. That should make you lose all the fat. Yes. Being fat should make you lose the fat. Yes. <laughs> Being mm. fat is like a workout all the time. It's like the Lord giving you body weights. Yeah. So why aren't why aren't all fat people thin? Because, because they're lazy <laughs> and they don't get up. All based on this theory, all fat people should be thin and all thin people should be this fat. This is why the weight problem exists. We went to Whole Foods when we were in Vegas. We bought food for a week. We ate it in one You're day. You're talking about me and you? Yes. Are you saying my weight issue started eight months ago? I'm saying <laughs> that's why they don't have weight issues. Are you really? It's because they can have snacks in the cupboard and leave them there. Who? Who are you talking about? Oh, Actors. just other people. Oh, oh People okay. who can lose weight. People who are very thin easily. It'd just be hilarious if my weight issue started eight months ago. I'm like fat my whole life. I wouldn't be surprised. All this trauma, and then eight months ago, I'm Whole Foods. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god I'm fat I also directly Like if there's something Going on in my life Like I'll have this thought Where I'm like Oh shit I had to spend a lot of money on that da, 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 da. I'll all of a sudden look And I am just Horking food Like I yeah. Immediately If I'm like having Brandon anxiety Brandon Fraser in the whale When he's Fucking speed eating His little chocolate bars Hey everybody Oh too loud Hi everybody too We're here loud. We're here to tell you About our new sponsor, my bookie. I'm excited because it's gambling. Uh, as Jordan knows, I love to gamble at the penny slot. Hundred oh bucks in, God. max bet. Win calling big. me every time you win anything, calling me. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm crying about something. Yeah, my dog got hit by a car, I got and pennies. I'm like, I'll buy you a new one with this guy. Uh, dude, I went to AC, eight hundred bucks, oh one big. I did roulette. Popped it on black, boom, black again, boom, penny slots, 300 bucks. Anyway, my bookie is the shit because it's we thought online. my brother in law made all of my, all of their money off of blackjack, but turns out he was spending all of my sister's money on blackjack and losing it. So use bookie.com and my uh, bookie. Keep your family together. My bookie casino. Here's the promo code SKA. Okay, you get a huge bonus, and that's great because your brother should have been using in law, in law X. should have X should have been using my bookie because that way he wouldn't have to go to the casino. He could spend time with his family and just gamble, gamble, gamble while he's with his yes, kids. We would have loved that. I know. That's why I needed my bookie. Where are you going? Are you going to use my bookie? I am. Oh. I'm logging on right now. That's great. She's laying down. I'm putting a period thing on her belly uh yeah so make sure you go to my bookie casino get the app it's got fun games it's got penny slots i'm gonna take all the money i'm getting from the ads and fucking pop it into that double it and then i'm gonna get more tattoos and prostitutes just kidding not happening <laughs> okay promo code scott you're gonna love it i'm gonna love it because i don't have to go to vegas to win big thank you Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Your old pal Ian here with another ad. Jordan is in the room. but she's, I'm down the floor. She's on the floor, and she's using a period massager thing. I got her for her birthday for her little belly cramps. Uh, they're not belly cramps. They're uterine lining being shed. It's blood being forced off the walls of my uterus to punish me for not yet again having a child. Well, what better way to distract yourself from that than by using Fume? <laughs> Fume is a great little tinker toy that you can twist and play with and also suck and pull on. And there's no smoke, no smell, I'll except... I'll give you something you can suck and pull on. Huh. Yeah, try her My fume. extra large clitoris. Oh, God, that's a fume in and of itself because it smells. But the good smell of Fume is that it has mint, berry, menthol, delicious, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. There's uh they've served over a hundred thousand customers and has thousands of success stories. There's no reason that can't be you. Uh, I fool around with the fume when I'm on a plane because it distracts me from the fact that I can't do the number thing, one thing that I love to do, which is pop, 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 pop. 
Um, Fume is also great because it accelerates humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to try fume. That's F U M try fume.com and use code SCA to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's try fum.com. Use code SCA to save an additional 10% off your order today. That's right. So go get a fume, tink around with it while you listen to the pod and let's have some fun. Bye bye. Jordan, say bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. It's your old pal Ian here. And Jordan's here too. Hi. She's on the floor tinkering around with one of our other products. Just kidding. It's a period thing. I got her for her birthday that she puts on her little belly. It's a diaper. Speaking of diapers, that's the area where your privates are. And what better way to take care of them than with Manscaped? I, for one, I've been known to have a bush, and some people like it, some people don't. But I like it when it's shaped because it looks longer. And what better way to do that than Manscaped? Jordan hasn't been fucked in a while, and so she's got a real jungle du jour down there, and she could use Manscaped. Hopefully it comes with a machete. But uh, (laughs) Manscaped is awesome because it also helps you shave your pits and your other pit, which is the thing down there that is nice. Anyway, um, take your freedom ball, freedom bells to the next level by going to manscaped.com. That's right. Get 20% off with free shipping with their discount code SCA. That's right. That's manscaped.com, promo code SCA for 20% off and free shipping. Uh, it's awesome. Dude, I swear to God, I Manscaped hadn't sent our stuff yet, so I went to... Uh, Walgreens to buy something to shave my stuff with, and I almost bled to death, okay? Manscaped is amazing because it doesn't cut you, but it cuts the thing that matters, which is the hair, okay? You can cut it too short, but like we knew from Sagalo, it looks it makes it look like a tiny little gameish corn, <laughs> corn game, man, game cornish, hand. a little chicken, and <laughs> people love chicken, <laughs> so get a Manscaped and shave it up. You I know didn't what? see that. You know what I realized? I'm, uh, when was he speaking? He probably blacked it out. Maybe I fell asleep. <laughs> so it was there a, a well, scene where he had a I haven't drawer? seen it, but I've seen he had a drawer, and one drawer is Snickers bars, and the other drawer is granola bars. I'm like, those are both unhealthy. Yeah, that's yeah. what you said, but I didn't see that in the movie. But like, if I watched it on a plane. Me too. But it's, yeah. it's bad that you're so... F- it, it's bad to me at the level of... I mean, obviously, it's bad to be that fat because you can't move, but it's bad to me at the level of fat where granola is like a healthy option. Yeah. Because totally. granola is just a candy bar, too. Yeah, totally. But maybe you're so Granola's fat. Granola's good for you. No, it's very granola bad Granola and yogurt? Really no. bad. Granola's just sugar. Granola's and sugar. Not, and it's, yeah, it's no. bad for you. Uh, but, like, I guess I if you're putting yeah, granola fat. on my yogurt. Yeah, that's why your barrel Good metabolism. <laughs> Those are two opposite <laughs> things that came out What'd of both you your mouth. I said, that's why you're barrel chested. <laughs> <laughs> said, that's good metabolism. <laughs> uh, dude, you know what? In that movie, when he jerks off, he just comes and then he doesn't clean it up. Oh, God. In the whale? No, yeah. I think he wipes it. No, I didn't see him. Have wipe you it. seen Happiness, where Phyllis Newhoffman comes on the wall and then puts a postcard? No, and, so, and there's all these other postcards on the wall. <laughs> where? The movie Happiness. Phyllis Newhoffman's in it. Yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah, it's a great movie. I just rewatched it. Remember recently. when when I told you that I saw that movie? What was the movie? Pizza, licorice pizza. Licorice and I was pizza. like, I love that kid. He's like the next Philip Seymour Hoffman, and you were like, that's his. Son, and I was like, "What? <laughs> really? I had no idea. Oh, that's great! I love. Um, it. No, stop! I touch you're it. You're gonna, you're gonna, but, uh, um, bother it. Yeah. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to work out. I don't know. Weight stuff Me is too. Uh, hard. Uh, no, I'm so sore all the time. Where do you work out? Where do I you go to my gym down the street? And yeah, three it? days a week with this Hungarian guy. Is he good? Is he jacked? Is he hot? He's very jacked. Are you He's gonna? Hot. Why don't you? Oh, do you need him to motivate you? Yeah, I kind of wish he'd say like. That's if you, you worked out, if you buddy. get abs, I'll let you fuck me. Like, I feel like that. Yeah. He's that hot. <laughs> yeah. That's quite a carrot at the end of the stick. <laughs> <laughs> if you get abs, you'll get this asshole. <laughs> I've never seen asshole. you. You big bisexual. You're so shocked by that. You're like. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah I didn't picture you as someone that would use that as a motivation. Whereas me, the gym is a cruising spot. Well, so not, that makes I guess me I'm making it. I guess I'm but making I haven't been. Yeah, that wasn't shock. That was him being like, "Would you suck my dick?" <laughs> oh yeah. Do you need a new trainer? <laughs> I do push-ups and pull-ups. Um, I'm yeah, trying to need a gym. 
Yeah, I mean that started. Yeah, I'm. You know, I I need the I need to get the form right. It's tough. It's really hard. I need. I do need a gym. I feel like I'm from on, the my office. He was all a the sweet time. guy. <laughs> Why? Because you're just like the next day. You're just weak and you know emotional. Puny. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I've been working, doing a lot of push-ups, and I feel so. No. It feels good. It's a good. Hurt. I will say, my trainer said it live the other day. I'm like, I've never heard anyone say this. It's kind of funny. What? We're talking about name, how complicated name, and I always want to change it. He's like, you don't have to change it. Look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. His last name is two racial slurs for black people back to back. Schwarz and what's and what? <laughs> <laughs> what's Schwarz? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, I've never heard that. Is that like? And then someone made that point. That's interesting. What is Schwarza? Don't say that. N word, Yiddish N word. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. We're allowed Jordan. to. You're getting, you're getting canceled by Yiddish people yeah. right now. Jordan, oh, I just found my new tagline. Jordan, you're getting yeah, yeah. canceled by. Uh, Jordan just found her new catchphrase for her merch. <laughs> That's crazy. I've never heard that anybody say that. The one Yiddish speaking uh, fan is like, yeah. I am never listening. I am never listening to this podcast again. Like, I. <laughs> Dude, speaking of Jews, God, the Hasidics out there today well, really trying to cream me on my motorcycle. It was crazy. What do you mean, cream you? Just they are driving like there's no lines in the road, like reckless. I've yeah, never that's seen it. They like always it. drive. They really hate the Hasids. Yeah. I've... No. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, you don't. Me, my home. Is it, do you hate them because it's men ignoring you? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we just got I down hate the way the, the women look at my tattoos and they're like, oh, I hate the way that they, when I'm running and they just Isn't don't that outfit shower. So hot, the they long don't jeep. shower and they run in front of me and they stink like ass. <laughs> they don't, don't wash their maybe, maybe it's just because you're breathing out of your mouth when yeah. you run. <laughs> that was bad. You're sounding like Hitler. You're like these hostages. They, they, they shouldn't even be here. They smell. They're a germ. Yeah. I they, was hoping when I saw the smoke outside, somebody had done some. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Welcome boy. back to Joke Radio <laughs> on BIWJ 107. This is Queer in the Cunt. You know what I, why I don't, what, the other thing is they have their own uh, police force and uh, uh, ambulance. Yeah. That's and cool. That's funny. Yeah, I like that. It's yeah. very annoying because you'll think that you're dealing with the police and you're like, oh, good, police. What do they do? They arrest people for eating, like, pork? Like, what if <laughs> Or women trying to leave it's, their They arrest their black husband. people for being in their school. <laughs> what? What? They also kind do that. disinformation campaign they you clean on right out, now? They clean out black schools and they put their little inbred children in there, their special ed kids. And displace the black people. You can look at him all you want. That's the truth. I know you're searching his eyes for the truth. That is the truth. Where did you learn this? This American. <laughs> the Daily <life>. Stormer. <laughs> it's cool meeting with a bunch of like minded How do you not know that? <laughs> Anybody who has lived in New York for any period of time knows about that. The displacement of the black school. I like how you openly have anti Semitism as your brand. <laughs> I'm have anti everythingism. Yeah, I'm anti gay people. I'm anti a lot of black She's anti people. Everything. You're anti gay people. A lot of, very frequently. Hey man, I don't just go after one group. I go after them all. <laughs> I'm, I'm anti an myself. Opportunity hater. <laughs> I think that is a good way to just yes. get away with hating everyone. If you yeah. just hate enough people, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. So the well, problem the is thing. not that you hate. The problem is not hating. It's actually hating too little. I think the problem is existing. Right, right. But if you just hate one group, that's bad. Yeah. You but if you hate... I don't no, hate... No, but I hate all of them for the reasons why they are colloquially hated. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not like, I hate Derek because I'm like, no, Derek though. is loud in movie theaters because he's black. If someone's that racist, but for every group, yeah. does that take a little off? Yeah. Does that, like, lighten it a little? Well, yeah. that's, like, the whole thing about, like... Playing both sides, like anytime you're just on one side. Nah, because the Nazis hated everyone. That didn't make them less. No, they didn't. Racist. They, they didn't, didn't hate, hate themselves. themselves. She hates herself. Oh, you hate anybody. yourself too. Yeah. Well, if you hate yourself too. Yeah. Yes. Are you kidding me? I am a Scandinavian blonde hipster <laughs> with fucking. You're Italian with t fucking skull tattoos. You're saying if Hitler had a little self hatred, you'd be like, it's fine. Now Hitler you're putting said, words in our mouth. Hitler said that there was one one good one. Let's I'm saying they're not all bad. Even oh, start God. defending. I might need <laughs> what? I see what you're saying. You're saying no one's good. 
You might I'm, need one to kill myself. Yeah, I guess racism no. does involve thinking one group is good. See, racism is one yes. group is better than the other. Ah, She's not better we got, than anyone. He just said that. That's a great point. That, and I'm reiterating. So in a way, like Jack Nicholson, as good as it gets, is it like fully racist because he hates everyone? Yeah. Yes. Because he's pretty racist. He's my idol. But he's like, I mean, he literally, there's some parts the of that. Jews that, are I'm sitting at my table. table. Yeah. Maybe if your appetites were Weren't big as big as your noses, noses, I could get out of here. And then yeah. he goes, people who speak in metaphors should Just shampoo, shampoo my, my crotch. crotch. Great movie. <laughs> I got to see great that. Movie. Oh, you never see that? We also know all the lines to my favorite song, which my... It's motorcycles named after, and I have a tattoo of Ramona. Ramona. Oh yeah, Ramona, one of my Amazing. best. Yeah. Ramona, best. but uh, as good as it's great, get as good as it's it's great. But it um, restart <laughs> all of that. <laughs> <laughs> as good as it gets is great, but it, it is from the '90s where someone could just have racism as one of many personality traits. Mm-hmm. He's like he's just as racist. Like old, he's just mean. racist when he's grumpy. Yeah, yeah like yeah, it's like a mood. But, but what's that's so great. bad about that? I, it's a great movie. Oh my god, I what? love it. Him and what's his name? What's uh, the black guy's name? Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Oh my god, it's so good I when he's just directly but you're right. racist. He doesn't think a group is. I guess yeah. part of racism is to really be like he does it with women. Remember, he's she's like, how do you write women so well? And he's like, I take a man. And I eliminate all reason and accountability. That's, that's yeah. why that one whole of the thing, lines of all time. One of the that's why that whole time. thing about like when when they're like, well, black people can't be racist because of, of a power, blah blah. It's like no, but they think they're better than. And if, that's if you do, racist. that's racist. If you are like a black supremacist, that's racist. Well, yeah, and also, but it I guess why people to hate someone based on the color of their skin. It's also racist. That's terrible. It's also racist to think a black supremacist isn't racist because we're kind of saying, yeah, that's adorable that yeah. you think yeah, black yeah, people yeah. are better. Yeah, yeah, that's, totally. a, oh, that's so adorable. Yeah. It's all you know, racist. Re- I mean, and if it's not racist, saying you don't. I mean, come on, you don't really think that. Right, 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 <laughs> yeah. right, right. right. That's it is kind funny. of a racist. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't really think yeah. oh, black people. You're just, you're but just no. saying that to. Also, even the playing like, field. If it's not racist, then it's like, well, it is bigoted and prejudiced, and that's fine. No, every no, every group is either. racist. Every yes. group is racist. I'd say I'm never who's prejudiced the most against racist Irish group. people. I think that's true. What? I was just you hate them the most because you make them date you. <laughs> I mean, there are ways. I who do you think is about racist? the choices most I've been racist. making currently in my life? Uh, so I'm going to make Jordan feel bad. Probably Russians or people in that area. Yeah. Yeah, I well, have a barber who's Uzbekistani, and he's uh, he is quite problematic. I was you gonna say he said the Koreans. other day. This isn't racist. He said the other day. I, I love quote, Koreans. He said they're seriously so up front. No, they're just the cool. They're always smoking cigs together I, around a scooter. My barber seriously said, like he was cutting my hair, and he went, "What did Harvey Weinstein do that was so wrong?" No, <laughs> yeah, he did. He goes, "What did Harvey Weinstein do that was so wrong?" It'd be one thing. If you know, he said you'd be in my movie. If you, if you have to have sex with me. It'd be one thing if they had sex with him, and I didn't put him in the movie, but he did. <laughs> he was a man of his word. That's a guy who's just like he's like I'm just pro yeah. prostitution. And he's Hello. got scissors to my ear, so I'm like, but yeah, I, I don't yeah. know. I got your really life in your hands. <laughs> Complete <laughs> overreaction. You're like, I'll fuck you right now. Yeah, I don't know what Harvey Weinstein did at all. Yeah, I'm, he's like that. The whole haircut. He's like Israel should nuke Iran. He just cut. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he told me once, he goes, the problem was Biden is he's not tough on Russia. We needed someone like Trump. When Putin brought talk about nuclear weapons, Trump would be like, well, I'll shoot nuclear weapons at you. We needed someone to escalate the situation. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But uh, you got to have a, you know, so he's like pretty... Um, yeah, but like I feel like Russia people are pretty. I don't know. You're a lot of a lot of those countries are pretty. Uh, They're so prejudiced. racist yeah. and homophobic. Yeah, Jesus I, Christ! I go to a Russian bathhouse and I've seen them say the N word. I'm like, your group is definitely not allowed to say the like. There's no like. Uh, some people are like, well, maybe Latino, but definitely uh, Ru- yeah. definitely Russians don't get a pass. No. <laughs> yeah, no. I feel like Rufat is pushing the line. What is that? Uzbekistani? He's Kazakhstani, right? Or what is he? He's oh, he's stands. from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Ah. Yeah. It's so bad I thought you were just saying gibberish as a joke right now. <laughs> In my head, I started to say gibberish, yeah. and then the actual I thing was, came out. I was literally yeah. about to be like, that's really offensive. Yeah. To make up a country with a ridiculous sounding name like that. <laughs> I've been doing a saying joke. Saying he's from Ash- Ashkabubagash. <laughs> is this, hey, is, you, is, this really is this something that somebody's already said? You, you have a, you have like a dried thing. Listen. There's always stuff on my nose. Just leave it there. Okay. Are you really mad? Get it off. It's- Got it. Are you really mad at me? I've been doing a joke about how 
Like if somebody from the past came to now and they're like, I thought that we stopped. Oh, about Lincoln. Yeah. We came in and I thought we stopped like corralling black people and I, enforcing. I don't them think do you things. need Lincoln for the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. The BIWJ 1047 with Queer the Gun the Jew. That was a callback. <laughs> Oh, honk, honk, honk. <laughs> All right. And Ron is about as red as his hoodie right now. This one is something for the kids out there. Scorpion, rock you like a hurricane. You know what? You wouldn't need Lincoln for the joke. And I am willing to see that. I am I'm able just to tired see. of seeing comics doing Lincoln jokes. I We get it. You shot. They're just logs. Why do you need Lincoln in the logs? Aren't logs funny? <laughs> anyway. Sorry, what so, we said. Yeah. No. No. no, no. Pass. <laughs> Are we going around the room? <laughs> yeah, go, why don't you go? Why don't you speak? You have the floor. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just come on. Nope. I, I want to hear the joke. No, I'm not going to say it. I want to hear the joke. No. no and not just funny. so I can say it afterwards without Lincoln to see if it works, but I want to hear the joke. No. I don't feel safe sh workshopping with you two. It doesn't feel like I'm in a safe space. So I'm not going to run a new bit because I think that you'll make fun of you're it. you're a snowflake. And then I won't say it on stage. And it's been working on stage and I'm happy about it. So I'm going to take it elsewhere. Like to Jake, my you know, best friend. You know oh, Lincoln. the enabler. You know Lincoln. Is when they, uh, I'm kidding. This is true. When they made that movie Lincoln, it's based on a book called... Uh, the book about Lincoln. No, I forget what the book is called. Oh, the one oh. that Louis forces everybody to read. Oh no. Him. Um. What's oh, it, called? it was uh, called uh, "Who Gives a Shit." Okay. All right. And uh, anyway, they. I hate this. It was a book about what? Lincoln, but when the movie came out, I swear to God, I got your back. I was fucking him up. We don't want to fuck each other up. <laughs> Just listen. So when the movie came on, where came were you yesterday when we had our, the guests yesterday? You were sucking I'm that dude's to say a funny dick. observation. No, it wasn't. Oh, were you trying to say something? <laughs> I'm trying to say a oh, funny I'm joke so about right. working. We're being no, no. I'm oh, sorry. Did you want to say a statement and I'm, you began it and you'd like you know to finish it? You know how upsetting it is to make Do a joke feel... about Lincoln and have someone start mocking you? Oh, Can you that imagine hard? that? Isn't it feel vulnerable to say, let me run something by you and then to have everybody say, poop on your head? <laughs> Go ahead. Um, <laughs> when the Lincoln movie came out, they re... I, <laughs> just let me say this. Oh, right. come come out with your interesting okay, fine. anecdote. With the Lincoln movie, oh, pew, come pew, on. Pew, 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 pew. We're on a podcast <laughs> and it's on the radio, and right. here's some jokes we said before. We'll say them again. All right, why no, 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 say mine. Ronan wants to spurg out about a movie again. Come on, when they Put the pillow down, when they <laughs> yeah, leave our pillow. When they, the movie, you, you came, don't bring him into this. <laughs> when you the, bring that from home. When the movie came out, they reissued the book, the biography, uh -huh. but they had Daniel Day Lewis's picture on the cover. Isn't that funny? Like, as Lincoln. They do that with so many books. Yeah, but they don't usually do it with a Lincoln biography. <laughs> he <laughs> like was a real do, man. <laughs> like, they do that with, like, yeah, like, yeah, it was yeah. like you know, like, Congo that, or something. That is but they really don't funny. do it, like, like, they literally have Daniel Day-Lewis as Lincoln on when, the cover of a Lincoln. so many photos of yeah, Lincoln. Yeah. On yeah. the cover of a Lincoln biography. <laughs> It'd be one thing if it was somebody we didn't have photos of, only drawings. Like, I always thought a funny joke. If, what if Lincoln came back from time? <laughs> And, and then he went into a bookstore and he's like, what? <laughs> what the yeah, hell? They, I Don't good. you think they did that because people are so dumb, they'll associate that with a movie and then it'll sell more books? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, that's why they did it. <laughs> okay, let me try running what this are you bit. fact checking my joke? Is, has anybody done this? I thought you were telling us. <laughs> well, I guess it's not a joke. I thought you weren't joking telling us facts. Well, it was a fact. But I mean, I know that they're trying to make money. Well, all I know is that that long thing was worth it. <laughs> you know, it wasn't that long. It got interrupted for 12 times. They're trying to tell you, hey, nobody bought this biography before. Everybody loved the movie. That Just so you know, this is the biography of the movie. Well, it's like that Mike Kaplan joke. Like, oh, man, I should read this now. Brad Pitt is in it. Yeah. You know, like for five Brad Club. Pitt oh, is funny. in the yeah. biography. Yeah, Brad Pitt was put in history. So what were you going to say? I just, I'm wondering, it seems... Like somebody might have said it before, but Lincoln is like, well, I told you to stop like collecting black people and making them do things. And they're like, no, that's yeah, we stopped. And they're like, but what about the NFL? And mm -hmm. they're like, no, they they want to do it. They like it. We pay it. And they're like, that's what you said about slavery. And they're like, no, seriously, we give them a lot of money. And they're like, well, at least they can retire. And then it's like, actually, they die at like a really young age. You that's know what funny. I mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You haven't heard that before. You okay. do the draft yeah, that's part because that's like an auction. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the thought that's I always have when I watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then the we combine put them all out, is, and the combine is like check oh. their teeth, <laughs> right? No, I mean, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The, the NFL, so the NFL combine is when they like 
test them for how fast they run and how good they are at catching and tackling. Yeah. And that's kind of like checking their, yeah. when they're like checking their teeth and like, oh, let's see how good their bones are. Right. Why am I getting that look? I was going to look at the <laughs> idea that we that people used to do that, like, let me look at your teeth. Yeah. That's awful. Okay. Um, I know. You, you know, I'm going to say <laughs> slavery was bad. <laughs> I just didn't know about the teeth. You think anyone would like, let me see your teeth. They're like, I'd rather not. My teeth are not in great shape and it's embarrassing. <laughs> what do you think they were like, let me see your teeth. They're like, I haven't brushed them yet. <laughs> yeah, it's a little embarrassing. Give me a minute. <laughs> they always like that. The big thing they said back in the day, what like. The thing about the combine. No, nobody knows what that means. Yeah. I wouldn't say it. They're always Everybody like, knows they're about like the well, NFL combine. People say, hold on, hold on. I'm really bothered right now. I don't my know. I don't know. But I don't thing know. It was about very funny. We don't know about that. I don't know about Great. sports. I'm impressed by myself that I knew what a draft was. <sighs> I'm not going to talk about checking black people's teeth because I know it's going to happen on stage. It's going to make people clam up. But that's where the auction thing is. You can kind of remove yourself from it a bit. Yeah, but that's digging deeper into the joke. Fine. Dig it deep into your own jokes. I already am. Well dug into a hole by the time I'm pulling that like bad way out. It's like mean spirited workshop jokes. <laughs> We're trying to fucking diagnose our podcast. <laughs> it's just a fun fucking time. We're having fun. What Am does I combine mean? The NFL combine is basically when they when they take all the players and they test them to see who's running the fastest, who can catch the best, how high they can jump, like so that they can use all those stats to base on who is the best player and how they'll perform that season. So it was basically the equivalent of, check, like they literally check their wingspan and yeah. like check how strong their legs are, which yeah. is what they would do with slavery, yeah. Yeah. which also really strengthens the joke. There's a lot yeah, of Yeah, I just didn't get the reference. Yeah. There's yeah, because you're a fucking movie nerd, and I'm an There's alpha the fact sports that every guy. every owner of an NFL team is a big, fat, white guy. Stop. Yeah, I think that's funny. Thank you. It's really funny. Thanks. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's great. It I'm, is funny. I'm taking his draft thing because draft and auction are two words I knew. I didn't know either of the ones you said. But you knowing it will be interesting because you're a woman, and women don't know stuff. I don't know it. No, well, now you do. No, I don't. I'm going to fucking do that joke. That, and then you're stealing you should just my do joke. the last part. You can't. That's yeah. my entire premise. <laughs> well, I think the joke stands alone. You <laughs> don't need the she, idea. That's the rule of comedy. If you don't accept the tag, he's allowed to do the tag on its own. Yeah, what do you think? That's that? insane. <laughs> He'll introduce us like, this is a tag I gave Jordan for a bit. She's obviously doing the bit where I'm going to do the tag. You can say that on stage. That's allowed. You're allowed to do an out of context tag if it's been rejected from the bit. Yeah, it's like filling people in on a story. Yeah, I do that. If so, if if I've given a tag before and they didn't take it, so on stage they'll just be like, and then I jerked her off, and no one knows what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take my premise. I'm not. I'm kidding. But it, it would make me feel good if you tried it once. I don't even know. Wait, I don't. You can't. You are so bad with boundaries. Can I just say this as a, I think, a good excuse, which I make instead of saying it doesn't work. I don't like doing a joke where I didn't get the reference beforehand. Yeah. I don't. I will not know what to say. And then next thing I'll know, I'll be up there and I'll be yeah, like, she, oh, isn't that kind of like when we looked in the yeah. black people's She's mouth? like, it's, it's like Columbine yeah. when we looked in yeah. black people's mouth. I like, just shut up. And guess what? <laughs> We're all laughing. Yeah, that's true. So not many Columbine race slavery jokes. <laughs> it's like Columbine, you know, all about, you know, black people's teeth. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> no. And it is kind of under the, it is under the gaze of Lincoln. You know what I mean? So it's hard for me to imagine like incorporating Lincoln it. Lincoln was like, gay himself. I've heard that. Yeah. Was he gay? I've heard that Lincoln was gay. That's why Mary, his wife was like so ugly. <laughs> she was just like a placeholder. I've, Somebody has that amazing joke about. There's rumors a lot of people are gay back then because the thing about back then is when someone wrote a letter to a male friend, it would be like, I love you dearly and think about you all the time. I still remember that night we slept together in the hay. Like every letter was like that back then. So yeah, everyone seems kind of gay. was so bad back then. You had to really love men to wade through that yeah. fucking disaster. But some people do think Lincoln was gay. Oh, it's Norm MacDonald has the joke about Lincoln. What is it? That his wife. He used to get fucked in the ass And when a little shit came out He'd be like Is that a Lincoln log on the floor? A true story he, It's a true story He would That's reference not. He would reference a toy that was made 200 years later 
<laughs> it's a true story. This guy. <laughs> this guy. You'd be like, is that a Lincoln log that just came out of my ass? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> that's where Lincoln log came from. That's from where, the that's shit. They made the toy. Yeah. And yeah, then he said, is that a Lincoln log or a bunch of Play Doh? <laughs> <laughs> he was very witty and prescient. Fisher Price. <laughs> Pretty good to be a president where you're like, a toy about is made out of you after the home you had, you know? Yeah. It's like if Trump had like mansion or something like you build, right? Well, Trump Run towers. with me on this bad joke. Yeah, Trump Towers. It's like little kids do Trump, Trump Tower. Trump card. The Trump card, yeah. Mm. Um, I wonder if the Trump card is from him. What is the Trump card? Like A when Trump it takes card. all. When oh. you what? No. It takes all. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Thank yeah, you. yeah, like it trumps your thing. Yes. It's higher. He does take all. Anything. Yeah. He does take all. And he doesn't get back. He doesn't get back. And that guy's got a couple get out jail free cards. I don't understand how nothing came cards. forward about all of the game, landlord yeah. stuff where he was <laughs> where he would kick people out of his, his buildings. Why was that never like aired publicly? He's a slumlord. It was definitely, I mean, it was definitely aired. And his father. I remember. Yeah. It was kind of beautiful. I remember I was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and they had a Woody Guthrie Museum. And they had a lot of his old songs that he had like written, like like the actual papers. And a couple of them were about him, songs, him railing against Fred Trump. Because of Fred Trump's unfair uh, housing practices. Whoa. Whoa. So it was like it was like cosmic battles throughout the ages. Woody Guthrie versus Fred Trump. Whoa, yeah, that's, that's wild. awesome. Yeah. That's cool. And then it's like Bernie versus Donald, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bernie's the closest thing I can think to Woody, mm. you know? Miss Bernie. Um, but yeah, so it's he like, yeah. Oh, did you that. see Pence is running? Mm-hmm. Nuh-uh. Yeah. yeah. He is running. Running. Dude, Attell is a great joke where he goes, I was in Ohio, at a hotel in Ohio, and guess who was there? Mike Pence. That's right. I knew he was there because my Bible was hot. <laughs> my funny. God, come on. That's so good. Yeah. Dan Bolger used to have this joke I love where he's like, I think Donald Trump, when Donald Trump was the president, I think Donald Trump should be impeached immediately. And everyone start clapping. And then he go, because Mike Pence rules. <laughs> that's so good. He's oh, great. Is funny. he still doing comedy? Yeah. He's so funny. He's still doing comedy. Is he in Boston? He'll, very, he'll be very hurt to hear that sta- question. Is he in Boston? <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, we'll leave fucking Boston, Bolger. Hey, he's hilarious. Is he still relevant? <laughs> is he still alive? Is he still alive? Because yeah. he is not on my radar, and yeah. I am definitely the pulse of things. <laughs> he should move to New York. He's so good. Well, he never I'm not to. clearing the air on the podcast. I'm not asking that. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Does this happen every time, or am I bad? Uh... Oh, my God. What? Huh? That's what I'm not doing. I'm not talking about this. Oh, I thought you meant clearing the air about Tim Bolger. <laughs> You're not clearing the air with me. Can we just hug? Yeah. Does this happen all the time or am I bad? Am I toxic to this relationship? No, it's just if anybody goes Uh in on me, Ian takes it as like a, he's been really horrible before. He said it was a joke. He invalidated your feelings. (laughs) Yeah, it's just fun. He goes hard. I haven't gone hard. Have I gone hard? One time I had to spit in his mouth because of how hard he was on me. I'm just trying to have that happen again. (laughs) If anybody takes my side, he gets manic and bounces off the walls and just says mean things. Have you ever been pissed on? That's not true. No. Have you? Oh, in the shower. In the shower. Yeah. I kind of did. Oh, I I mean sexually. Ew. What? No. All right. Jesus. Have you? No. No. Have no, you ever pissed no. on someone? <laughs> no. No. I don't, I don't know why I brought it up. No, I actually haven't, but Are I don't you know. Are into it? I don't know. Probably not. He That's is. toxic stuff that comes out of your liver. What? Bladder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it runs through the liver, too. Something does connect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I was just curious. Why? Maybe it's something I'll do eventually. I don't know. On the bed? I no, have, no. I have kind of. <laughs> I did want an ex for me to be in the tub and her just piss all over me. I know a guy who got his shit on her, his chest. No, shit. thank you. I mean, piss. I can be like, all right, I, I'm not 100, percent but shit. That's a, that's a little much. fun to pee on him in the shower. You, oh, because you're being degraded. I guess I'm, I'm just. Yeah, curious. but shit is no. Are you degrading or degraded? Shit is a. Le- I, I like to be degraded. Wow, that's uh, you, you fucking like pussy! Yeah, I like you to be hard. I like to be humiliated. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is she humiliated? Is that why you do stand up? One... <laughs> really? Would you be like a diaper? That's guy? why the crowd's really bad. I'm like, you're just getting me hard right now. <laughs> 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 I like this. I did. I told that to Seth. They were like really hostile, and I'm like, I'm just getting hard on stage right now. Like, wow. you know, like, not laughing. Yeah. Like, so, what do you, you want to like... be abused, or do you want to be like, ha ha? I make a joke about this, but I really do 
kind of mean it. I really like not doing anything. When you're getting punched same, and shit, same, same, you're just same, not. Same. My kink is laziness. Dude, I feel the it's exact like same whip way. me, yes. handcuff me. As long as I'm not moving, I'm fuck a happy me camper. And fuck me up so that yeah, I don't have to move. So I don't have to move. It's I feel actually, the exact same I really way. think like all the beating up and shit. It's just a distraction from the person not having to do anything. I totally agree. Yeah. I totally so agree. I really like not Choke having to do anything. Choke me out so I'm unconscious. Sometimes yeah. I do Ooh. dominate, but like we switch, but I really like being dominated. You know? I think that's, I feel exactly that way. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, just beat my head into the pillow so that I can't do anything. I've liked yeah. dominating for so long and all that, but I it does get tiring being the dominating yeah, one. Of course. That I've kind of wanted to be the one to be like, all right, just do whatever you want. I want to fuck somebody while somebody's watching. Cook. Lawyer, wait, what? What? Anyone watching or someone that likes you watching? Somebody who likes me watching, dude. That could be a Patreon. What? <laughs> have have the people watch you get fucked what? on Patreon? No, no. What? They can screen grab it. Oh, in person. <laughs> a little that would be great. Right. That I'm down with. I'm Have all basement. of our autistic audience. Just waiting people on the come stairs in like, to come down. Hey, I would hey. I would come immediately. That would be hilarious. The second I found out we had a peeping Tom in college, they were like, by the way, your landlord is <sighs> I came. I know. I, I, it is I, nice. I like the idea of public sex. I've been having yes. a hard time getting hard in public. Really? I've been getting well, blown okay. in bathrooms, and it's like, uh, oh, you're fucking in public. Yeah, oh, I'm so confused. I'm like, that's okay. You don't need to get hard in public. <laughs> but it's how I go pee pee. <laughs> but you're fucking in public. Now I understand. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. was like, I was like, if you don't fuck in public, chew. that's not really a issue. Really? If I'm gonna do it in public, stop doing it in public. Ah, you're getting older. I know. That's Happens to all men once they're once they're older, they start having to use blue chew while fucking on a train station. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever you're doing. I like how you're having your midlife thing, but it's still like public sex. You ever yeah. see two people I fucking can't public? Get it up like, <laughs> in, this, in this phone booth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, old. dude. Me and this girl were in a bathroom stall and we were like going down on each other and this woman was taking a shit talking to herself next to us. And I was like, we we just have to leave. We Are were you like doing this on like cocaine? No. You don't do drugs. No. Sober. Sober. Okay. I had sex in the gutter bathroom. Really? Well, that's what it's made that's for. That's a single stall. Yeah. This is public. Oh. And the girl next to me next to us was like, Oh, he was so ugly, you put his face in the what cheese. Do you mean he public? turned into yogurt. She was talking about shitting. Yeah. And you were how, fucking. Well, could she see you fucking? No. She how, was in the stall next to us. How could you do it so quietly that she didn't hear? It? We weren't fucking. We were going down on each other. Oh. But she could have looked and seen two. What is that feet. face? She could have seen four feet Just under the stall. The idea the of you going down on somebody in a bathroom means there's a toilet near. I just don't like it. And a well, you guys are the ones talking about public. And a woman shitting right now. Where is your public? On the street? I'm the yeah, rat. Fucking the animals? I'm not, you could fuck on the street. No, I fantasize. Yeah, I don't like do it. I fucked in a park recently. Really? What? When? Well, yeah. it's hot. Oh, no. It was so hot. No, never. It's really good. Again, with that I'd like talk. to do it again. Not with that one. I'd like to. No, you wouldn't. You fucked in a park? Stop. This is bad because of the one she fucked with. Okay. That's a keeper. You shouldn't let him out. Woo! It's the Disney segment on BWJ with Let's check my phone. Someone who let you fuck in the park. Don't let that one get away. You were such a fucking dick. You know. You know. Of course I know. I'm protecting. Thank you. Thank you. You don't have to protect. We're friends. This is good park sex. Uh, Did I initiate it? Here we go. Are you afraid? This was there a possibility a of you getting slope. caught? I think he was afraid of getting caught. I, I was hoping to get caught. Oh, okay. Why? Yeah. Because I like the idea of getting caught. It's but like, what if a child sees you? Is that yeah, illegal? Like, follow it Whoa, through. He says child like you do. So, child. 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 Well, yeah, child. That's how I would say it. Yeah, child. child. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Every time I say child, I get possessed by a black woman. Child. <laughs> child. He literally does. Child. Now, every time thing. a black person around, he gets possessed by a black really? person. Yes, it's insane. Are you? Are you? Uh, you, you start uh, signing black. I code switch. You code switch even though you're white. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? Think it through to the next step. Someone catches you, then what? Let's act hey. it out. Let's act it and out. <laughs> Let's and let's that, act it out. You two are fucking. Say? You what two are fucking say? in the park. Ready? What did I, I catch say? You. What? what? I am sexually. I am a what? Silly goose. goose. So the idea of somebody walking in and me having to go oh! and running away is the most fun. Anybody going tag, you're it. 
That's what I want. All right, here. You guys are having sex and I catch you. Okay. Ready? No, no, run on. Get on. What, what am I doing? Uh, you okay. guys are fucking. Okay. Okay, now degrade him. <laughs> You're a little bitch. <laughs> you're a little bitch. You're just a tiny little baby bitch. Walking with my family, we're holding balloon animals. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> what are these two beasts doing? You're I'm just sorry, so angry I'm right just away. I'm just a silly goose. I'm just a silly goose. It looks like that bear is having sex with that wounded bird. That other bear. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that bear is having sex it with It looks like Winnie the Pooh is getting bear. fucked by Smokey the bear. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's just two bears fucking kids. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Children, the word of the day is mistake. <laughs> yeah, if kids saw me, I might feel bad, but yeah. I knew there weren't no kids. Yeah, you always worry about that. I've always used to have sex publicly with Paul. My first boyfriend. Really? really? I've never done it. It's it's hard Parking to perform. Lots. Well, it's hard to like the Jack, holy mother of God. Dude, I met a the party. I met a like guy just like standing up. I was against a tree. Oh, uh, that's cool. Well, okay. um Yeah. Just bark on bark. Oh, please, we can't talk about it. <laughs> I can't think about it. That was better than mine. I was going to say, he sounds like a real sap. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, why don't you leave me a lot that one alone? <laughs> there was a lot of wood going on. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb. Not good. Uh, <laughs> keep the rounds are in trees. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a tree thing. Um, um, oh, dude, one time me and this guy met up to like hook up in a park, and I just could not get hard. And we were just tugging each other's wieners, and I was just like, the putty. Yeah, I was like, look, man, this isn't gonna gonna work. I love watching homeless men try and get hard. When you like start talking, like I just, I guess I've only just seen you with. Women. Yeah, it doesn't make you yeah. want to shut down yeah. emotionally. Are you making it up? <laughs> <laughs> Are you making it up just for? Uh... <laughs> well, I just never seen. Doesn't you. it make you immediately retreat into your body like a turtle into <laughs> a shell like <laughs> when you start remembering that he has homosexual tendencies? I, mean, I guess I could see. I mean, I could definitely see you in a with a man at a park. Isn't it crazy? You can watch your respect level plummet. I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. You fucking. I don't bitch. feel good about it. There's something about the bisexual I, thing. Like, if you were gay, I would be like, yeah, get get yours. But there's something about I fuck women and then sometimes I fuck men. Not that, that face. It's a little. Uh, it's a little gluttonous. Yeah, and guess what? It's, it's guess what? Exactly. That is yes. Why? Fucking yes. F the the You're B gluttonous. in the LGBT is so Ian fucking Ian abused with Jordan. and <laughs> so fucking everybody shits on it. And it's the only fucking part of the queer culture you're allowed to fucking it say is. shit about I have without people being been offended. I able to put my it's finger on gluttonous. it and it like, is gluttonous. Yeah. I'm so happy. Yeah, I have, friend I have such you guys a hole are inside biggest. me. I want everyone to fuck oh, me. Oh, just, yeah. I have <laughs> just, Do you think I like living this also, way? It's also, no, I wish I just had one thing that I liked. It's also, but my body Body is it's pulling also, me towards other things. Yeah, bring him down. It's you also cunt it's also, fag. It's also <laughs> fuck you. The two things you like fucking the most. Yeah, I'm horny. It's you also, have C, cut fag. Make a choice. Yes, make the choice. <laughs> See? Oh, oh, being gay is not a choice, but bisexual is. You fucking assholes. It's not a choice, but it's you have a lot of time in the day. It feels like it's gluttonous. What? It's Brianna. I, you know my hot friend. I guess everything's a choice. I mean, you, I wish you choose I could to fuck just someone. be with one and I be content. Be. I feel like a freak all the fucking time, and I hate it. You know, it, it is everything's a choice. If you fuck someone, that's a choice. Yeah, being gay is a choice. It is a choice. You're choosing to fuck someone. It's not your fault that you're having these horrible, sinful thoughts. <laughs> it doesn't work with my list very well. Wow, you just said sinful. <laughs> wow, talking about wishful thinking. <laughs> wishful thinking. Uh, but you don't have a choice to have sex. Yeah, I, I mean, it is a choice that I feel like not I'm choosing. It's like this, like, it, it's not gluttonous. It's like this carnal feeling of like, yeah. I just want to get off. Guys are easier to do that with. Yeah. That sounds like the definition of... I just of don't think you're bi. I think it's you're not straight. gluttonous. I'm just so cardinal. I think I'm, <laughs> I'm mostly straight. I'm just like criminally horny. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're saying. Gluttonous. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Because but you're not fucking it's like, fucking I'm dudes. fucking gay too. Who cares? Call me fucking gay. I don't but care. But you're not... All right. I think you you're hate just a, that you're more just than a big, uh, You're just a big consumer. You... Don't fuck men. You fuck women. They yes. just happen to be trans. But I fuck women too. I know, and women. But I don't Therefore, fuck guys. I like blowing guys sometimes. You like blowing women and guys. But I understand. Yeah. What? 
So, so what you, do you get, like what being blown. Yes. So you'll it's blow. My favorite. Yeah. Yeah. You, you love like being blown, blown so much. You don't have to be blown by anyone. Yeah. You yeah. just love a blowjob. If I love lined, them. if I had woman, trans woman, man, another woman, you would choose the women so to you blow don't fuck you. Guys. Yes. Yes. No, You're I don't just fuck guys. gluttonous, dude. I don't like beating you. Literally, the will with take fellas. anything, and and unfortunately, in our society, trans women are the ones so, who are available. So you've only been blown by guys. No, I fucked guys. Oh, but you don't I, like it's it. not my like with preference. poopy. Okay. No, not Sorry. with poopy. Sorry. Did any Lincoln logs come out? Yeah, Call one back. did, and he was embarrassed. I said, like, "Hey, brother, shit happens." <laughs> <laughs> I think you fucked so many women too that you're not grossed out by the body, except for if I have armpit hair. Fact. And period. <laughs> that is surprising to me. With what? all your gluttony, I would think that you would be a period sex person. Oh. It is weird to be like, Arbor isn't that man. weird? Now I know I just got back from getting blown in the park. Yeah, like, yeah. I know I just rammed my <laughs> dick into a man's unclean know, asshole, just... but my <laughs> god, <laughs> shedding a lining. <laughs> um, I should probably go soon. You're gonna go upstairs to do my. Oh yeah, you're gonna do therapy please, upstairs. Please tell my say. Well, how's that gonna work? Are they gonna hear you? No, no. Okay. There's like fun. a steel There's a door. door. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Cool. Cut to us with a glass <laughs> to our ears listening. Everyone's like, <laughs> I get you. Like, I cry because I'm just, fat. Well, it'll just be funny if I'm like, I just I just worry that everyone's talking shit about me. It's like, no, they're not. They're we're down here like, God, Rod out was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> See? I think if I walk by the laptop, see Alan, I will start crying just by getting a glimmer of his eyeballs. Yeah, that's not okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're not allowed to be in therapy with someone else just because you share a therapist. That's what? called. No, I'm saying if I walked by and just saw just, Alan on the screen, I would start crying. Oh. I walk into his office and I'm like, I don't, I'm sure. And he's like, passes the box. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. good. That's I good. Mean, Is that good? Yeah, that's good. You're you're getting stuff out. It's good. Yeah, but it's not like, it's not weird that I don't. Do you never cry? With no, him? That's weird too. Yeah, I probably cry too little. You cry too much. You got to be the bisexual. Don't cry. turn this on me. <laughs> you got to have some, um, some a little and then you're not. You're gluttonous. I that's, have. You're that's, a gobbler. That's that's the the. You're a gobbler. That's the negative connotation of bisexuality. No. I'm not gluttonous. I don't actually. You don't date Dude, men. Dude, bisexuals are. It, everyone shits on bisexuals. I'm obviously joking. Say this shit about trans or gay people, and you'll be fucking. I'm joking. Shouted to the fucking end. I'm joking, world. joking about the gluttonous thing, but it's funny. You've been shitting on bi I people do. all the time. I, I shit on trans Dad people. Moved down, you guys were telling me I've shit on my dick for five hours. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying I will, but it's not like if. Other people, people, other other people, people do. Uh, I've, gotten on you for I've gotten called a fag for so long for being with trans women and fucking dudes, and I just fucking take it. I'm not. I, I'm, I don't just, care. I'm just joking about being gluttonous. I'm but being it's fat. funny that you're like, Fuck you. I'm like, I'm not gluttonous. I just want a blowjob so badly. I'll take that it from I'll suck anyone a dick <laughs> to get one. Yeah, because I'm giving. <laughs> Let's take it. No, sucking is giving. Oh, you're sucking. Yeah. Oh, you like blowing. I like both. Oh, okay. But sometimes I'll have a dick in my mouth, and I'm like, how did I end up here? <laughs> what am well, I you doing? never feel that way when you're going down on a woman. I love it. Yeah, so and also I can't make dicks come. Look, if, I don't know if, what it is. I get told too much teeth. I mean, come on. Oh God, <laughs> I'm not good at sucking dick, but let's I'll make you come. Let's say in, that in a you were okay pussy. with sucking dick, right? What would uh -huh. happen? You would take one of the DMs that you get, and you'd fuck a woman on the road like that. See, here's the thing. Tell the feel like this podcast DM is me and I'll down. be like, okay. <laughs> and I get DMs from guys all the time, and they're like, "Fuck me, suck me," and I'm like, "Ugh, no." Bag. Okay, so why on the road are you not going with DM'd women? Then why are you going with? Because I don't get. A ton of DMs from women. Okay. So your preference is woman. Yeah. Always. Yeah. So that if the woman does it, you'll just, yeah. It's like but sometimes on like a full moon, I turn I'm into a gay gluttonous. little werewolf. Because I think that you're straight, but you're just so horny that you have to take anything. Which well, I think is more gluttonous Here's the than thing. Bisexual. I just have a sex addiction. I go yeah, for yeah, women, yeah. but I watch gay porn. And when I watch gay porn, it's we easier to live porn. that out with a guy. So that's when I start right. looking for guys and I look You at probably porn. just have like a sex addiction. Yeah. Like you ever seen that movie Shame with Michael Fassbender? No. He's had a sex addiction, but eventually like he can't find a woman that night. Turn so your just, movie thing off. He Eber. just goes to the gay uh why can't I buy Cisco, huh? Why would what makes what what about me made you say Ebert over Cisco? Because he's a dead one. But uh <laughs> they're both dead. Um but uh news to me. <laughs> you didn't know Gene Cisco. Gene Cisco died before Ebert. Um all right, let me end can I end uh Yeah. I'll, can I end on a quick little funny Ebert thing? Yeah. 
Sure. Um, so yes, please. Ebert um, lost his uh, the lower part of shut his, up, shut up the lower okay. part of his mouth. He had cancer, and they gave him a prosthetic mouth, mm -hmm. and he couldn't speak. So they used all the he actually had a, a rec all the recordings from all his stuff. They used it to create a voice. So he used that voice for everything in the last couple of years. But it was you know. It was clearly like from the movie. So people were like, How was your day? And he'd be like, Two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. How's the, how's the cancer going? Riveting. Riveting. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> A real box office smash. This one went on a little too long. <laughs> That's my Ebert Please joke. kill me. Oh, God, he's going rogue. <laughs> okay, plug your plugs. Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, follow me on Instagram, Ron on Comedy, R-A-A-N-A-N Comedy. If you want to subscribe to my mailing list, go to KentuckyJew.com. Nice. That's right. Ariel could go fuck herself. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't have my name. No one knows my, how to spell my name. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Kentucky and, Jew's uh, great. And then, uh, you know, watch my, my specials. It's Jokes great. Jokes from great the underground, special. downhill ever spent since. And, uh, you and know. Soon another one to come. Soon another one to come. Thanks for, uh, yeah. This has been being in. Was it, can, I, can I? Oh no! I guess you all sign off. What are you pointing at? Say Jordan. Be in with, with Jordan. Jordan. Why? Well, I, I felt a little presumptuous signing off. Bye, guys. No, your plugs. When's this come out? Um, I okay. I uh, have dates coming up. Please come to San Francisco. Come to Florida. Come. Just please go to jordanjensen.com, uh, jordanjensencomedy.com. If you guys buy tickets ahead of time. It really helps me out. Wait, Thank what, you. What is this coming out? Me too. What's uh, oh, coming out next Friday? Okay, Ianfinance.com, uh, iAnimal69, Instagram, and uh, join the Patreon, patreon.com slash pod. Dude, we, me and her, are going on the road together. We're doing some uh, live shows. July 21st, New York City, Cutting Room, live B&E &E with Jordan. Going to be a fucking blast. I'm so excited. I'm recording a special there the week before. Yes. And that's going to come out. It's a half hour with Gas Digital on my YouTube. Subscribe to my fucking YouTube channel. Subscribe to Be Any and with Jordan, but then also go to Jordan Jensen Comedy and subscribe to that. Yes. It's coming out on that. Thank you. Thank we you. love you guys. Bye bye. Thank you.